Hey, what's up guys? So we are back here again. We are Scott and Heather from Landscapes by Acme and Infinite 13. We are <laughs> going to talk about today. Don't let me talk to you. Mm -hmm. We talk <sighs> over each other sometimes and that happens. Yep, we're going to let her talk from here on out today again. No. So, But uh, we're going to talk about my business and our pole barn for our shop and how we... That was the next step in our journey. Yeah, our next step in our journey on our property. Of building your pole barn. What size is your pole barn, Scott? My shop is 24 by 32. So it's not a big pole barn, but it's big enough. Um, we can get our truck in and work on our trucks. We can get our equipment in. We also have her My shop in there. Mm -hmm. So we have a bathroom in there. Um, we have a big enough office for both of us to use. We use pretty much one office for pretty much both our run both our businesses and for her to be in there with her stuff so it's a nice good shop um when we first started building it you know we built it i had a couple workers help me build it how many uh, weekends you did it just on the weekends and it wasn't very long it yeah we did long. it a couple weekends um a couple days during the week because i three. had it was one month that it took to build it. it was, like it's been years, yes, so it's, it's been, been like six years for that. So. Um, we built it for, I'd say, one month. I think it was. It was me, uh, two of my workers at the time. Um, we decided this is where we we're going to build it. So we kind of started building it. We kind of got the driveway started at that point beforehand. Um, we talked to the city, the state, and tried to find out where we could put the driveway. And then we went from there. And then... That kind of helped decide on where we wanted to put the shop and where to go from there. Yep, we had a, a permit for the driveway first, and then we had a permit to build that. Um, but yeah, and then after, oh, like, was it a year after? Did you have the cement pour for the? Yep. So we floor? went. We went for a whole year in this <laughs> building without no electricity. Did no. Did you have electricity or no? No. How no. did you do it? We ran everything off a generator. <laughs> I'm like, how um, did you do so that? So pretty much, you know, if we needed something to work on something, we ran it off a generator. Um, we wanted to work no on a bathroom. truck. Um, we pretty much just put a piece of plywood down, work on there on the ground. Um, we had it all stoned, ready to go for concrete, but it wasn't ready. It was like a glorified, um, what would you call that? Storage unit? Yeah, it was a storage unit like pretty a much, storage unit. you know, at the time. And, uh. We just kind of got the concrete done when we could afford it. Um, we did the concrete a year later, um, mm -hmm. right before winter. Uh, a cousin of ours that does concrete, pretty much, I said, hey, you want to do the concrete? He said, sure, he'll do the concrete. Did he um, even do that to him? Yeah, still, he still does do it. Do a shout out to yeah. him. Uh, Jimmy, he did our concrete. Really... So he was, when he came out, looked at it, he, Told me what we needed. You know, we decided to do it in two weekends um, because literally there was, we were half full of equipment in the shop. And we really didn't want to take the equipment anywhere. So one weekend we did half the shop. The next weekend we did the other half of the shop. So that way the concrete could cure and we could move equipment over. Um, and then in the whole deal of everything, we pretty much sold him one of our work trucks in exchange for all the labor on it. So... Literally, pretty much, it didn't cost me but the money to put the concrete in. But it was a truck we weren't going to be using anymore anyway, so... Yeah, it was it was worth it because we got rid of a truck. We had, at that time, we had four equipped trucks. And that was ready to go. You know, one was ready to go out of the fleet, so it was a perfect matchup. Um, and then, we pretty did, much, just kept going for that, and then... We did the bathroom last year? Yeah. Uh, no, or was that a year ago before that? La this, this last year 2020, 2020 merge, we did, has been merging with yes. like 2019 uh, and 2020 that. we actually took converted one of the bet the offices that we had because originally i built two offices in there after like six months after we did the concrete i decided to put two offices in there uh one for me and uh one for my brother at the time because my brother was working for me and he was going to do some of the landscaping and the tree work so we built two offices at that time. We ran all the electrical, but we didn't have electricity still at that point. What we did was we actually ran everything still off a generator um, until 2020 
which is just last year, we ran everything off a generator. We never had electricity at the place. It was, it was interesting because everything was all hooked. All the lines were hooked in there. You'd actually walk in the offices, even in the shop, and you had your outlets, you had your switches, but everything ran over to an extension cord and ran right into a generator. So and lawn care people ran through. are going to like be really wowed by this, <laughs> it's probably. Just, you know... I know how to do electricity. I know how to do a lot of the stuff. Well, you've and, been learning. You've been yes, YouTubing. And, uh, and hopefully you'll put out there who you were watching. Right. To, you know, so give them credit. But we, you know, we did it at no debt. We didn't want to put money into it. We didn't want to get a loan when we built this building. Um, the building originally cost me $5,000 to to get the kit to build it. And then... Concrete was concrete like was 1500 bucks for concrete. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and like I said, if I would have had to pay my cousin, he wanted another thousand bucks. So we exchanged that truck and it didn't cost me anything in labor. But, you know, so. But we did have a licensed electrician do the, um, the main electric yes. for the main. Yes, the main. We had a licensed electrician this, in 2020 come out and do all that. It's on this full barn. Yes. So. So. That, that, what did that cost us? Uh, what was about the cost? Do we cost, the cost us three there? grand. Yeah. Cost three grand to run electricity, uh, two hundred feet to the main road. So our building building sits by about back two hundred feet from the road. So, so that's where it is. And you know, everything we've done on this property, um, we've tried to do a lot of stuff ourselves. Um, you know, the main electricity is something that I'm not going to climb up the pole and get electrocuted. And it was better to have a, a with the main electrician come out and tell me how to hook up the main service. Because in um, the city or the township, because we're a township, sorry, they want to know, make sure everything was set up right before they let you do the final hookup with the main electric company. So it's just easier to have, if you can, have somebody that's a licensed electrician to do that for sure. Right. Right. So... You know, keep keep following us. Um, we're gonna go from here on over to a whole bunch of other stuff. I mean, we got a building that we're gonna talk to you can about. We talk about our mess ups, like the pond. And yeah, the we can talk lot. about all that and stuff. Yeah, we got you gotta know what the mess is up. You know, so there's been happens. a lot of mess ups, and we're gonna go into that. Not too bad, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> no, nothing's been too bad. So we'll go on into that next. Like and like. subscribe, guys. Keep following us.